Towards Bachmann, soldiers of the 3rd OSHBR Reconnaissance Company cover the infantry during the attack. BPAK assists with aerial reconnaissance. Scouts take the Russians' fire and give the Ukrainian assault forces an opportunity to destroy the Russian positions at close range in the forest. As for some Ukrainian troops ambushed and destroyed several Russian troops at close range. The territory of the Ukrainian state captured by Russia continues. People from the 88th Battalion of the 35th OBRMP shared a video of fending off a counterattack by Russian troops in Storazivo. Stabilization activities are currently underway in the village. Ukrainian forces destroy Russian troops and recapture Makarivka village in counterattack. The 137th Battalion of the 35th Ukrainian Brigade officially announces the liberation of Makarivka, plus a brief interview with one of the Marines regarding the situation in Makarivka. For villages recaptured on the southern front and a few hundred meters advance on Bakhmut's flank is what Ukrainian forces appear to have achieved, after a week of starting a counteroffensive approved only by President Volodymyr Zelensky. Precisely when the Russian Ministry of Defense broadcast images of a possible Western Leopard tank being destroyed while advancing on a Russian troop stronghold. There were probably a dozen. Kiev did not report their losses. The conquests that were confirmed between last weekend and yesterday were broadcast by official sources. These are the villages of Neskany, Storoshov, Makarivka, and Blahode. Alone they explain nothing and together they represent about 5 kilometers of progress. Ahead is the new Russian defensive line and four other cities. In addition, combat operation footage recorded by the UAV operator to the south of the Special Operations Forces Center shows how they worked against the Russian forces, who were trying to overrun the defense force positions by assault. The Russian troops' attack was repulsed by SSO soldiers along with their fellow infantrymen. After that, the Russian troops made a second attack attempt. He was also repulsed. During the battle, the Ukrainian SSO FPV drone operator demonstrated remarkable efficiency. Despite the attempts of Russian army fighters to hide in shelters, many of them were destroyed by drone strikes or special operations forces of the armed forces of Ukraine. At the same time, footage shows a Ukrainian troop drone dropping a bomb on a hidden Russian troop ammunition depot and detonating it. This video was released by the 28th Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces and shows smoke rising from the massive explosion. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian kamikaze drone crashed into a Russian tank which caused the tank to explode violently. The images were obtained by the Achilles drone group of the 92nd Mechanized Brigade and their commander Yuri Fedorenko today. The Russian military faces relentless losses on Ukrainian soil. Some 216,650 aggressor troops were destroyed, 5,106 attacking air targets were shot down, thousands of tanks, armored vehicles, and trucks were destroyed by the Ukrainian military. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine has published a new summary of the total combat losses of the Russian military on Ukrainian soil from February 24, 22 to June 14, 23 defense exprays. Ukrainian forces have just released what appears to be the first ever released GoPro Leopard 2A6 turret cam footage filmed in real conditions during the Zaporizhia offensive. The video is fairly short and mostly shows the tank firing its cannon before releasing smoke in a fire and run maneuver. 
but it's still interesting to finally see the tank operating in the scenario it was basically designed for. On the other hand, the battle was fierce, but the Ukrainian troops were advancing and this was very important. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said this in his evening address according to Ukraine Forum. The battle is fierce, but we are moving forward and this is very important. The enemy's losses were exactly what we needed, despite the recent unfavorable weather the rains making our task more difficult, the strength of our soldiers is still bearing fruit. And I thank everyone who is fighting now, everyone who supported our combat brigade in related areas.